would have a much bigger pencil case than this. But I do tend to have just my favourite things to use in here. What should I pick out first? Right, so this is my go-to when I'm drawing anything really. It's a, a Koenor pencil, it's a clutch pencil which I absolutely love um, because it comes in a range of colours as well as just that this is just a 2B lead but it's, it's quite a soft 2B lead um, that works really well in a pencil sharpener um, so you can get a really wide variety of, of tone from these pencils and because it's a wider lead um, it's basically a graphite stick with a with a, a coating around it really but I absolutely love it and as I say it can go in the pencil sharpener but I save it this is um, a case for contact lenses that somebody was um, getting rid of and I said oh no that will be perfect for this sort of thing so if I just inject in pencil sharpener also in my pencil case I can sharpen and I can keep my bits of graphite because when you're paying for a pencil you don't want to just throw all this stuff away because it's really useful. Um, I use it a lot in my drawings and I can just use it as a bit of graphite powder to cover a large area um, which we do quite a lot in our classes here so it's really useful never throw anything away and the putty rubber can't be without my putty rubber this one's getting a bit tatty now but I use it more for softening areas by dabbing rather than rubbing out totally you can see there I can lift out and soften lines so if I'm doing something a, a scene that's a bit misty or I need to tone down the the strength of colour I can just dab with it. If I want to rub out highlights I will go for the Derwent battery eraser which um, I absolutely love. I was a bit dubious of these at first I thought it was a bit of a gimmick but I use it in nearly all of my drawing workshops now because it can pick out apart from the noise and if you're teaching a class and all of your students have got one of these it sounds like being invaded by a lot of bumblebees but it works really well for highlights and if you don't touch it much on the paper you vary the pressure you can get softer lines or press down really hard for a solid line <laughs> I did a, a drawing of a, a rose which I don't think I've put on here yet um, and we use that to pinpoint the, the shape of the petals in the graphite powder. I also have an embossing tool which for me is really crucial in my drawing and if I want to create fine areas that I can't rub out so even more delicate areas um, I find that the embossing tool I, I very rarely use the larger end I go for the small end if I was doing a building or something and I wanted um, a window frame that's white I can emboss that and then when I skim my pencil over it leaves me with the indentation of the window frame so it, it just creates that white edge that um, you can't really get with the with normal pencil lines. What else have I got in here? Ah, my paper stump. Now this is a rather large old paper stump I've got because I sharpen it all the time um, with my knife. So once it gets blunt, I use a just a disposable scalpel because I don't use it for anything else. Um, just to scrape the edges it's just rolled up paper but it, it's so wonderful for smudging and blending and in fact I almost use it as a pencil in its own right because once it gets really grubby I can use that to give me soft outlines 
of clouds or misty bits or background trees and foliage so I do I always keep one really grubby end and then you can see that that hacked at end where I've sharpened it to get a better point and clean it up a little bit then oh yeah uh, my uni pin it's waterproof fade proof pigmenting I normally go for a 0.4 because it's a really useful width uh, it's not too fat not too thin and again if I vary the pressure on it I can get some nice dishes. I'll do you use that as well because of it not running I've also got my gel pen my white gel pen which won't show up on here but it is useful to bring back some highlights but also it, it sort of does a bit of a blend because of it diluting the graphite that's on there so that's useful for this and then lastly is the few day brush pen by Pentel which is really amazing um, it comes with cartridges that you can use but what what's so lovely about it it's brilliant for all sorts of illustration or graphic work because you've got a very thin line by varying the control or you can thicken the lines so it's brilliant for illustrative stuff for outlining I don't think it's waterproof so use this on top of, of things but it does work really really well it's just got such a lovely flow to it and I, I sometimes just practice just to see how fine a line I can get and it is quite amazing how thin because it's got such a uh, a fine point to the taper of the bristle there are other brands available but I think the few day pen is is actually one of the better ones out there look at that it's amazing so that is what's in my pen bed it's empty I've got a whole shelf of stuff downstairs but those are my favorite go-to items for I use in nearly all of my drawing classes So all of these items, including the pencil case actually, and the sketch pad, I got from my shop, which is downstairs from where I'm doing this at the moment, the artery. And I'll put the link to the shop's website and the online shop and everything on there um, on the descriptions below this video.